A blessed Sabbath day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at Revival of Faith Ministries. This is Pastor Rex Frank, and welcome to the first Sabbath day of this year. I hope and pray that everyone is doing well with the help and with the guidance of Almighty Father Yahweh. May you all feel Yahweh's love and abundant blessings in your lives. Everyone say hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. On behalf of the Revival of Faith family, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all our brothers and sisters who are present with us today, as well as to everyone tuning into our Sabbath service through our online broadcast. Thank you very much to each and every one of you. Friends, I encourage everyone to stay committed to serving Almighty Father Yahweh. Let's keep sharing His Word, and most especially, let's continue to strive to fulfill our commitments to Him. Together, let's remain dedicated to our journey of faith. Hallelujah. So as we start this Sabbath day, let's talk about a very important topic that deserves a place in our hearts and minds. And as children of Almighty Father Yahweh and as believers, this particular subject should hold a very important role in shaping our faith. So let's go ahead and turn our Bible in Luke chapter 4. We are going to read verse 14 to 16. Luke chapter 4, verse 14 to 16. Yahshua went back to Galilee with the power of the Spirit. Stories about him spread all over the area around Galilee. He began to teach in the synagogues and everyone praised him. Yahshua traveled to Nazareth the town where he grew up. On the Sabbath day, he went to the synagogue as he always did. He stood up to read. Can everyone say hallelujah? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Friends, join me as we humble ourselves and pray to Almighty Father Yahweh as we receive His word today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father Yahweh, Father Yahweh, we thank you for bringing us together today in this wonderful and blessed place. We are grateful for your love that connects us in this special moment. We thank you, Father Yahweh, for this Sabbath day and for letting us be here to spend time with you and with our fellow believers. As we gather in your presence, please open our hearts and our minds to hear your teachings. We pray that you will guide our thoughts and help us take in the amazing and powerful words you have for us today. We want to feel your presence and be filled with your spirit. We ask that the words shared by your servant speaking today be inspired by you. Help us understand and apply what we learn in our lives. Father Yahweh, we thank you once again for your love and for all your blessings. All the glory, honor, and praise belongs to you. We ask for these things in the name of your Son, our Savior, Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Everyone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, our message today is entitled, The Habit of Attending the Sabbath Services. The Habit of Attending the Sabbath Services. Today, we are going to discuss the importance of having consistency in attending and participating in Sabbath services. Friends, the title, The Habit of Attending the Sabbath Services, suggests looking into the regular and purposeful practice of coming together for worship, thinking deeply about spiritual matters, and connecting with others during the Sabbath worship. Let us remember, my friends, that the Sabbath day is a very important instruction of Almighty Father Yahweh. It was set apart for our physical rest, self-reflection, fellowship with other believers, and most especially to strengthen our spiritual connection with our Almighty Father Yahweh. And that's why it's very important for us as Yahweh's children to understand the importance of developing a habit of attending the weekly Sabbath worship. To make it a consistent part 
of our lives and enrich our spiritual relationship with Almighty Father Yahweh. So let's start our message with the definition of the word habit. What is habit, my friends? According to the dictionary, habit is a regular or is a regular tendency or practice, often an action that is performed repeatedly and becomes ingrained or firmly established over time. So when we talk about a habit, we are referring to a behavior. When we talk about a habit, we are referring to an action that occurs frequently and regularly. Nagiging integral part po ito ng ating character. Nagiging kasama ito o integral part ito ng ating behavior at ng ating daily routine. Friends, developing healthy habits from a biblical perspective plays significant role in shaping our whole beings, most especially sa ating pong buhay spiritual at sa ating uh, spiritual na relasyon sa ating amang Yahweh. And the Bible is full of lessons about the importance of intentional habits that draw us closer to our mighty Father Yahweh and foster spiritual gro- growth sa ating pong buhay. Kapag sinabi po nating intentional habits, mga kapalit mga kaibigan, ito yung mga ginagawa natin on purpose. These are the things that we decide na dapat nating gawin because we want to achieve a specific goal or improvement sa ating pong buhay o sa ating mga sarili. So let me ask everyone right now, ano-ano po ba mga kapatid ang mga goals na nais natin o nais ninyong matupad? Ano-ano po ba ang mga nais ninyong i-improve sa inyo pong buhay? I know that lahat po tayo ay nais po natin may ma-improve sa ating pong buhay o sa ating pong sarili. So let me suggest something today. Let me suggest something to everyone today. Kung meron po tayong i-improve sa ating pong buhay o meron po tayong nais na i-develop sa ating pong uh, buhay, mga kapatid, i-develop natin yung intentional habit na tayo po ay makapag-strive na makapagbigay ng karangalan at kaluwalhatian sa ating pong amang yawe. Kung may nais tayong i-better or ma-improve sa ating pong buhay ngayon, dapat yung makasunod tayo sa mga salita at kautusan ng ating ama. We should cultivate and we should consistently engage in holy habits that align with the teachings of Yahweh's Word. Hallelujah! One of the most important habits, mga kapatid, na dapat nating i-cultivate o dapat nating i-practice sa ating pong buhay ay yung pag-attend o yung pag-participate natin sa mga pagsamba tuwing araw ng Sabat. Ito po ay napakagandang habit na dapat nating i-commit sa ating pong mga sarili. Let us remember that the Sabbath is one of the important commandments of Almighty Father Yahweh given not just to the Israelites but intended for observance by the entire human race. Tayo pong lahat. Ganito po ang sabi sa Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8 to 11. Basahin po natin yan. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to Yahweh your Elohim. On it you shall not do any work. Neither you, nor your son or daughter, nor your male or female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns, For in six days Yahweh made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. But He rested on the seventh day. Therefore, Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Everyone say hallelujah. The Sabbath day is a gift from Almighty Father Yahweh. Isa po itong regalo, mga kapalit, mga kaibigan, na ipinagkaloob ng ating amang Yahweh para po sa ating lahat. 
And let us all remember na hindi lamang ito intended, hindi lamang ito designed sa mga Israelites, kundi para po sa ating lahat ang espesyal at banal na araw na ito. Let me ask everyone, my friends, bakit po? Bakit ang araw ng Sabat ay isang napakagandang regalo na ipinagkaloob ng ating amang Yahweh para po sa ating lahat? Basahin po natin yan sa Mark chapter 2. Verse 27, ganito po ang pagkakasabi. Then Yahshua said to the Pharisees, The Sabbath day was made to help people. Basahin po natin ulit. Then Yahshua said to the Pharisees, The Sabbath day was made to help people. Ano po ang sabi mga kapatid? The Sabbath day was made to help people, to help us. Our mighty Father Yahweh established Sabbath day para po tulungan tayo. Hindi po nila lang, mga kapatid, hindi nila lang ang tao para, para tulungan ang Sabbath. Hindi nila lang ang tao para, para maging mabuti ang araw ng Sabbath. Ginawa po ang Sabbath, mga kapatid, para po sa atin, para tulungan tayo, para sa ikabubuti natin. Can everyone say hallelujah? The Sabbath day was gifted to us and designed to be a source of help, to be a source of refreshment and spiritual nourishment, a time to reflect and strengthen our spiritual relationship with our Almighty Father Yahweh. This was not designed to be a burden, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. Hindi po ginawa ang Sabbath para maging a, a, a burden or a rigid command. Para sa atin. This was given to us because our Almighty Father Yahweh loves us so much. Can everyone say hallelujah? He is a loving and a merciful Father and He wanted us to enjoy this gift of Sabbath day. Ang sabi po sa Isaiah 58, verse 13 to 14, basahin po natin yan mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. Isaiah 58, ang sabi, but first, you must start respecting the Sabbath as a joyful day of worship. You must stop doing and saying whatever you please on this special day. Then you will truly enjoy knowing Yahweh. He will let you rule from the highest mountains and bless you with the land of your ancestor Jacob. Yahweh has spoken. Can everyone say hallelujah? Hallelujah. See, Sabbath day is a joyful day, my friends. It is an amazing blessing that Almighty Father Yahweh has given us. Ibinigay niya itong mga kapatid upang maging opportunity para po sa atin na ma-experience natin itong special at banal na araw na ito. And that's why let's do all our best to practice attending sa important na araw na itong mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. Itong araw ng Sabat, itong araw ng pamamahinga na ipinagkaloob po sa atin ng ating Amang Yahweh. And let us consider the Sabbath day not as a, a hindrance or an obstacle in our lives, but rather as a valuable and purposeful opportunity for physical rest and spiritual rejuvenation. Let us embrace the Sabbath day to, to uh, it's a time to recharge. It's a time to connect with Almighty Father Yahweh and connect with our fellow brethren. Tama po ba? And that's why I suggest, mga kapatid, that we all strive to develop a consistent habit of attending Sabbath service every week. Gawin natin ito na maging parte ng ating pong buhay, mga kapatid. Maging habit natin yung ating pagdalo sa ating pagsamba tuwing Sabado. When we incorporate the Sabbath day into our weekly routine, my friends, we establish a designated time for worship, spiritual reflection, and a fellowship with other brethren. Friends, this intentional practice allows us to align our priorities, fostering a deeper connection with, with our faith and with others 
who share similar beliefs. Let us remember that the regular attendance at Sabbath services not only strengthen our relationship with Almighty Father Yahweh, but also contributes to the sense of community and support within our spiritual family. It becomes a source of inspiration. It becomes a source of encouragement and a foundation for more meaningful and fulfilling spiritual journey. Not just for you, not just for us, but for everyone. Ano po ang sabi ni Apostle Paul? Doon sa Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 to 25. Basahin po natin yan, mga kapatid. Ang sabi niya, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but, in, in, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Basahin din po natin yan sa Tagalog, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. Ang sabi, at sikapin natin mahikayat ang isa't isa sa pagmamahalan at sa paggawa ng kabutihan. Huwag nating pabayaan ang mga pagtitipon natin gaya ng nakaugalianan ng ilan. Sa halip, palakasin natin ang loob ng bawat isa, lalo na na ngayoy nalalapit na ang huling araw. See, in these verses, Apostle Paul encourages believers to develop a good habit to continue meeting together, worshiping together, helping each other doon sa kanilang faith journey, helping each other to get ready for the second coming of our Messiah Yeshua. Kaya napakahalaga mga kapatid ng pagsamba. And we are all encouraged to build a habit of attending Sabbath services. Bilang mga anak ng ating Amang Yahweh, we need to develop, we need to practice this excellent behavior. Yung pagsamba natin tuwing araw po ng Sabado. See my friends, even our Yahshua Messiah, He showed us a very important example of developing a good habit when it comes to attending the Sabbath day. Mismo siya, mga kapatid, ipinakita niya, mismo ang ating Messiah Yeshua, mga kapatid, ipinakita niya na bilang anak ng kanyang ama, umaaten siya, sumasamba siya tuwing araw ng Sabat. Tuwing araw ng Sabado. Basahin natin muli yung nakasulat sa ating pong binasa kanina doon sa opening Bible passage natin, Luke chapter 4, verse 14 to 16. Basahin po natin ulit yun. Ang sabi, Yahshua went back to Galilee with the power of the Spirit. Stories about Him spread all over the area around Galilee. He began to teach in the synagogues and everyone praised Him. Yahshua traveled to Nazareth, the town where He grew up. On the Sabbath day, look at this my friends, on the Sabbath day, He went to the synagogue as He always did. He stood up to read. Look at this, my friends. It is important to note that Yahshua, our, our Messiah, the son of our Almighty Father Yahweh, made it a habit to attend the Sabbath services. Kaya kahit siya mismo, mga kapatid, alam niya yung kahalagahan ng pagsamba. And this demonstrates the significance of regular attendance and active participation in the weekly Sabbath. Alam nyo mga kapatid, the Sabbath day holds a very special place in the heart of our Messiah Yeshua. Kung ito po mga kapatid ay very important sa Kanya, kung ito po mga kapatid ang Sabbath ay very significant sa Kanya, kung mahalaga ito sa Kanya mga kapatid, at mahalaga ito niyang tinutupad niya ito, it should be it should equally hold significance for all of us today. Tama po ba? And just our Messiah Yeshua is consistent and committed in attending Sabbath worship. It is essential for us right now to follow the same consistency and commitment 
in our Sabbath attendance. Kung napakahalaga ito, mga kapatid, sa ating Messiah Yeshua, dapat sa ating kapanahunan ngayon bilang mga anak ng ating amang Yahweh, dapat maging mahalaga din ito sa ating buhay. Can everyone say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Now, let's discuss the four important lessons from the examples of our Messiah Yeshua written in Luke chapter 4. Tignan natin mga kapatid yung apat na mahalagang lessons na mapupulot natin from Luke chapter 4. Ito yung ating uh, opening Bible passage kanina, verse 14 to 16. The first lesson mga kapatid that Yahshua showed us in Luke chapter 4, verse 14 to 16, ay He exhibited the importance of consistent spiritual habits. Ano po ang sabi sa Luke chapter 4, verse 16? Basahin po natin ulit to. Ang sabi, Yahshua traveled to Nazareth, the town where he grew up. On the Sabbath day, he went to the synagogue as he always did. Let's take note doon po sa sinabing... On the Sabbath day, he went to the synagogue as he always did. Because we can learn from this passage, mga kapatid, the value of consistent spiritual practices and routines in maintaining a strong spiritual relationship with our Almighty Father Yahweh. That's why I suggest that we must incorporate, let us incorporate regular spiritual practices or habits sa ating po mga buhay araw-araw. Katulad ng ipinakita sa atin ng ating Messiah Yeshua, He consistently attended Sabbath services doon po sa synagogue. And He was showing us that when we establish a regular routine of spiritual activities, we will maintain a strong and enduring spiritual connection sa ating pong Amang Yahweh. Hallelujah. Let us always remember, my friends, let us always remember that developing our consistent spiritual habits will help us in our spiritual walk and it will provide a steady anchor during life challenges. Hallelujah. Kapag tayo po, mga kapatid, ay duma, ma, uh, nakaka-experience ng mga challenges sa ating pong buhay kapag meron po tayong consistent spiritual habits, makakayanan natin ang anumang pagsubok, anumang mga issues, anumang mga challenges na dumating sa ating buhay. Can everyone say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Alright, the second lesson that Yahshua exhibited or demonstrated in Luke chapter 4, verse 14 to 16, was His active participation. Active participation in the assembly or in the congregation. Kapag binasa po natin ulit yung Luke chapter 4, verse 16, ganito po ang sabi, Yahshua traveled, Yahshua traveled to Nazareth, the town where He grew up, on the Sabbath day, he went to the synagogue as he always did. Take note of this, my friends. Ano pang sabi sa huli? He stood up to read. He stood up to read. So he was showing us that he was active sa assembly. He was showing us, my friends, na siya po ay active doon sa mga activities na ginagawa doon sa assembly. Hindi lamang siya umaaten mga kapatid, sa pagsamba, he was also involved sa mga gawain doon. Alam niyo mga kapatid, praise Yahweh, dahil ang mga kapatiran natin dito sa ating assemblya ay puro active sa mga gawain. Hallelujah! We are blessed with many brethren who are ready to step up sa mga gawain dito sa assemblya At hindi na po natin kailangan pang pilitin. Tama po ba? And I hope and pray, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, na ang bawat isa ang bawat isa po ay ipagpapatuloy nila yung kanilang mga tungkulin na maluwag po sa kanilang puso para po sa karangalan at sa kaluwalatian ng ating Amang Yahweh. Hallelujah! Alright! The third lesson that Yahshua demonstrated in Luke chapter 4, 
verse 14 to 16, was his eagerness to learn. Eagerness to learn. Look at this, my friends. Despite his knowledge, despite his knowledge and wisdom, he still went to the synagogue to what? To read. Ano ang kalaga nito sa ating buhay ngayon bilang mga mananampalataya? Ang ibig sabihin nito, mga kapatid, we should cultivate a habit of actively, what? Immersing ourselves in the study of Yahweh's Word. Fostering a continuous pursuits of understanding and knowledge sa mga salita ng ating amang Yahweh. Ano po ang sabi sa Proverbs 1 verse 5? Ang sabi ganyan, a wise person will listen and continue to learn. And an understanding person will gain direction. Friends, sa ating pong buhay, acquiring wisdom involves actively listening and consistently pursuing opportunities for learning. Kung nais po nating lumawak ang ating kaalaman, we must be willing to learn. And regardless of our current level of knowledge or life experiences, Maintaining an open mind to continue to deepen our understanding, most especially sa mga salita ng ating Amang Yahweh, is very important na maging habit natin ito sa ating pong buhay. Kailangan mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, hindi po tayo napapagod sa pag-acquire ng knowledge in wisdom, lalong-lalo na sa mga salita ng ating Amang Yahweh. Hallelujah. The fourth lesson that Yahshua demonstrated in Luke chapter 4, my, my friends, verse 14 to 16, was his ability to lead by example. His ability to lead by example. This means that Yahshua, Yahshua Messiah exhibited a good ability to guide and inspire people by what he did, not just by what he said. His behavior in the synagogue is a great example for others to copy or learn from. Lalo na mga kapatid, yung habit na pag-attend sa pagsamba tuwing araw ng sabad, ng sabat o ng araw ng sabado. Yung pagiging involved Sa assembly, ah. hindi lang yung umaaten pero active ka doon sa mga gawain sa assembly. Ah. Ano po ang sabi sa Matthew chapter 5, verse 16? Ang sabi, in the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Just like our Messiah Yeshua, my friends, we can also lead others and set examples of biblical habits sa iba po mga tao. Maaari tayong maging ehemplo sa pag-attend ng mga gawain dito po sa assembly. Maaari tayong maging example sa ating pamilya, sa ating mga kapatiran, na maging committed pa sa pagtupad ng ating mga tungkulin sa ating amang nyawe. Lalo na yung pag natin ng Sabat tuwing araw ng Sabado. Friends, kung ating pag-aaralan, the apostles as followers of our Messiah Yeshua, they also follow the teachings, the actions, and the characters of our Messiah Yeshua. The commitment to continuing Yeshua's mission played a very important role sa buhay po ng mga early believers. They kept the feeling of togetherness strong by regularly meeting, especially mga kapatid, during the Sabbath day. And this helped everyone stay connected Doon po sa mission ng ating Messiah Yeshua. Ganito po ang sabi sa Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 verse 42 to 44. 
Ang sabi, they spent their time in learning from the apostles, taking part in the fellowship, and sharing in the fellowship meals and the prayers. Many miracles and wonders were been, being done through the apostles, and everyone was filled with awe. All the believers continued together in close fellowship and shared their belongings with one another. Can everyone say hallelujah? Yeah. Nakita po natin mga kapatid kung gaano sila, kung gaano sila kakumitid na may pagpatuloy yung nakita nilang mga ginagawa o ginawa ng ating Messiah Yeshua. Nakita natin mga kapatid kung gaano sila kakumitid doon sa mission na ibinigay sa kanila ng ating Messiah Yeshua. As believers, they were all active, participating sa lahat ng mga gawain doon po sa assembly. And their commitment, my friends, was not merely theoretical, but was translated into practical actions and a lifestyle aligned with Yahweh's Word in the teachings of our Messiah Yeshua. Kasi nakita nila yung kahalagahan, mga kapatid, ng pag, pag-maintain ng strong fellowship. At nakukuha nila ito, yung strong fellowship sa pag-a-attend, mga kapatid, sa mga regular Sabbath meetings. At yung kanilang regular na pagsasama-sama, mga kapatid, upang itaguyod yung mga gawain ng asemblya, yun yung naging, naging lakas nila upang itaguyod yung mission na ipinagkalob sa kanila ng ating Messiah Yeshua. Regular gatherings provided them with the opportunity to worship together, encourage each other, and strengthen their commitment to Yeshua's mission. And by fostering a community like this, they were able to carry on yung mission na ipinapagawa sa kanila. Ano yung mission na yun, mga kapatid? To share the good news with other people. To baptize people. And to make disciples that will continue the mission. Kaya ganito na lang kahalaga, mga kapatid, yung ating pagsasama-sama tuwing araw ng Sabado. Kaya napakahalaga, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, na tayo po ay uma-attend regular na umaten sa pagsamba because we've been entrusted to continue itong mission na ito na ibinigay ng ating misaya sa ating kapanahunan ngayon. Because today, my friends, we are also preparing the next generation and sharing them the habit of attending the Sabbath services para sila mismo, mga kapatid, maipagpatunoy nila yung mahalagang gawain na ito. Kung hindi po natin ito gagawin at hindi po natin ipapakita yung kahalagahan ng pagsamba, hindi natin ipapakita yung kahalagahan or importance of meeting regularly, then we are stopping that mission na ibinigay sa atin ng ating Messiah Yeshua. Tama po ba? tayo pa yung nagiging daan para mahinto yung pagpapahayag ng katotohanan sa ibang mga kapatiran, sa ating pamilya, sa ibang mga tao dahil hindi po tayo uma-attend ng sabat at hindi po tayo aktibo sa pagsamba. Look at this, my friends. Missing out on sabat services is like disregarding a very important moment to absorb the wisdom and guidance that Yahweh offers us during those special times of worship. During the Sabbath services, mga kapatid, there is a powerful exchange of knowledge, wisdom, blessings, and guidance facilitated by the presence of Almighty Father Yahweh. 
Tuwing araw po yan ng Sabat, mga kapatid. And that's why when people are not active in attending Sabbat services or they neglect yung pagsamba tuwing araw ng Sabado, then they are technically missing out on something truly valuable na ibinibigay po ng ating Amang Yahweh para po sa ating lahat. Ano po ang sabi sa Proverbs 3? Verse 13 to 15, ang sabi, Happy is anyone who becomes wise, who comes to have understanding. There is more profit in it than there is in silver. It is worth more to you than gold. Wisdom is more valuable than jewels. Nothing you could, nothing you could want can compare with it. Ano pong sabi? Gaining wisdom is more valuable than jewels. At wala po tayong maaaring ihalintulad o ikumpira sa pag paggigain ng wisdom. Look at this, my friends. We gain important wisdom whenever we hear Yahweh's word. Can everyone say hallelujah? Ulitin ko mga kapatid. We gain important wisdom whenever we hear Yahweh's word. Nagkakaroon po tayo ng insights, nagkakaroon tayo ng understanding, and we enrich our knowledge in Yahweh's word when we attend regular Sabbath meetings. Hindi lamang tayo nakakapag-aral ng kanyang salita tuwing araw ng Sabbath, napapalakas pa natin yung pa ating pananampalataya at napapalakas pa din natin yung pananampalataya ng ibang mga kapatiran dahil po sa ating pagsamba. Friends, our regular Sabbath meetings and our fellowship na ginagawa, it provides mutual support in, a, in matters of spiritual growth. Sinabi ko, mga kapatid, I've said mutual support dahil hindi lamang sa ating pansariling faith ang lumalago kapag tayo po ay sumasamba, kapag tayo po ay aktibo sa mga gawain ng asemblya dahil nagiging daan tayo sa ibang mga tao upang ma-encourage na maging aktibo din sila sa kanilang mga tungkulin at sa kanilang pananampalataya. Can everyone say hallelujah? Friends, we become vessels of encouragement to other people to seek more about our mighty Father Yahweh and our Messiah Yeshua kapag tayo po ay sumasamba tuwing araw ng Sabbath. The habit of attending the Sabbath services provides us with structured opportunity to come together as a community, to worship, to learn, and to support one another in our faith journeys. Yung pagsamba natin tuwing araw ng Sabat, mga kapatid, ito yung opportunity natin to set aside the distractions of the world and focus our hearts, focus our minds on Yahweh's Word and the examples of our Messiah Yeshua. Ano-ano po ba yung pinagkakabalahan ng mga tao sa kanilang buhay ngayon, araw-araw. Of course, nandiyan yung work, nandiyan yung school, daily obligations, personal tasks, and other personal responsibilities. Lahat, lahat yan, mga kapatid, yan yung pinagkakaabalahan ng bawat isa. And with all of these things, most of the time, kahit na pati yung araw ng Sabat o yung Sabat day, na disregard dahil sa mga undertakings na ito. Alam niyo, mga kapatid, the Bible specifically stated in Isaiah 58 verse 13 na dapat bigyan natin ng halaga ang araw ng Sabat. Anong sabi? Basahin po natin, mga kapatid, Isaiah 58 verse 13, You must stop doing and saying whatever you please on this special day, but first, you must start respecting the Sabbath day or Sabbath as a joyful day of worship. Can everyone say hallelujah? We 
must respect the Sabbath day by not doing and saying whatever we please on this special day, my friends. Kaya yung mga regular na ginagawa natin araw-araw, dapat hindi natin ginagawa ito during Sabbath day. We should develop an attitude of being mindful and respectful kapag araw ng Sabbat. By avoiding doing or saying anything na inappropriate po, mga kapatid, sa araw ng pagsamba. We should treat the Sabbath day with special care. And let us avoid actions and words that don't align with the commands of Almighty Father Yahweh regarding this special and holy day. Let us remember that Sabbath day is for us to focus ourselves sa ating pong amang Yahweh at hindi sa ating mga pansariling mga gawain. Tandaan po natin yan. Ano po ang sabi sa Colossians chapter 3, verse 16? Ang sabi, let the teaching of Yeshua live inside you richly. Use all wisdom to teach and counsel each other. Sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to Yahweh. The Sabbath services offer us a platform to grow in our understanding of Yahweh's Word. Sa ating pong pag-attend o sa pamamagitan ng ating pag-attend sa ating pagsamba tuwing araw ng Sabato, nabibigyan po natin ng oras ang ating buhay na malaman ang mga mabubuting salita ng ating amang Yahweh. Nakakapagbigay po tayo ng kapurihan at karangalan sa ating amang Yahweh. Kapag tayo po ay uma-attend regularly tuwing araw ng Sabat, When we develop the habit of attending Sabbath services, my friends, we are allowing ourselves to engage with Scripture, to listen to its teachings, and to apply its wisdom to our lives. Take note of this, my friends. By having a habit of attending Sabbath services, we are not just fostering spiritual growth in our lives because we are also contributing faith development to our fellow believers. When we gather as a community during Sabbath day, we have the chance to support and uplift one another through prayers, encouragement, and acts of kindness. Nangyayari yan, mga kapatid tuwing araw ng Sabado. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 16, ganito pong pagkakasabi, Yahshua has put each part of the church in its right place. Each part helps other parts. This is what is needed to keep the whole body together. In this way, the whole body grows strong in love. Ano po ang sabi mga kapatid? In this way, the whole body grows strong in love. Our presence, our participation during the Sabbath services can have a profound impact on the lives of others. Sa buhay po ng ibang mga kapatiran. And let us always remember my friends that we've been chosen na makasama sa assembly na ito to provide a supportive environment that helps everyone not only for our own spiritual growth but for everyone's spiritual whole beings. Can everyone say hallelujah? And that's why during our busy lives we must revisit my friends or we must re-examine our commitment when it comes to attending the weekly Sabbath services, dahil napakahalaga po nito para sa ating buhay at sa buhay ng mga taong 
nakapaligid po sa atin. Tignan natin mga kapalit, mga kaibigan, kung tayo po ba ay nakakatupad sa ating tungkulin, lalong-lalo na po sa ating pong pagsamba tuwing araw ng Sabado. Hallelujah! As a closing passage today, basahin po natin mga kapatid ang napakagandang Bible passage about the blessing of attending the Sabbath services. Ganito po ang sabi, Isaiah 56 verse 2. Ganito po ang pagkakasabi. Bless are all those who are careful to do this. Bless are those who honor my Sabbath days of rest and keep themselves from doing wrong. Napakaganda mga kapatid, di ba? Ulitin po natin. Isaiah 56 verse 2. Bless are all those who are careful to do this. Bless are those who honor my Sabbath days of rest and keep themselves from doing wrong. This passage, my friends, emphasizes the blessings that come to those who, cons- cons- uh, to those who observe and adhere to the commands regarding the Sabbath day. Mayroon pong pagpapala ang mga sumusunod sa mga kautusan ng ating amang Yahweh. May pagpapala ang mga kapatid kapag ang isang tao ay nagbibigay ng kanilang panahon, nagbibigay ng oras sa kanilang pagsamba upang magbigay ng karangalan at kaluhalhatian sa ating amang Yahweh. The choice to receive these blessings lies in our hands. It's our decision whether we want to cultivate the habit of attending Sabbath services and embrace the provisions that Yahweh has in store for our lives. Friends, our commitment to regular attendance reflects our desire to draw closer to our mighty Father Yahweh, to seek His presence and to align our lives with His will. And that's why if we don't have a consistent habit of attending the Sabbath services every Saturday, then we are missing, we are missing that special connection. We are missing the opportunity for Him to talk to us and bless us kapag hindi po tayo nagbibigay ng ating commitment at ng ating panahon tuwing araw ng Sabbath para po sa ating amang Yahweh. In conclusion, my friends, the habit of attending the Sabbath services holds profound significance in our spiritual lives. It is a practice that mirrors the example set by our Messiah Yeshua. By committing to this habit, my friends, we open ourselves to the blessings na ibinibigay po ng ating amang Yahweh sa ating pong buhay. When we commit ourselves to this habit na umaaten ng araw ng Sabat, mga kapatid, then we open ourselves doon sa commitment na ibinibigay o binibigay natin sa Kanya. We open ourselves to the transformative power of Yahweh's word. And we honor the commitment or the commandment na ibinigay sa atin ng ating amang Yahweh to rest and to worship during Sabbath day. So as we continue our journey of faith, my friends, I suggest that we all strive to cultivate the habit of attending the Sabbath services with reverence, with joy, in a spirit of unity. Let us embrace every Sabbath day as an opportunity to draw closer to Almighty Father Yahweh, to support one another, and to be refreshed in His presence. May the habit of attending the Sabbath services become a cornerstone of our spiritual lives, guiding us 
in our walk with Yahweh and enriching our relationship with one another. Can everyone say hallelujah? hallelujah. Friends, sumayin nyo nawa ang kapayapaan, ang pag-ibig at pananampalataya na nagmumula sa ating Amang Yahweh at sa ating Messiah Yeshua, pagpalain nawa ng ating Messiah Yeshua ang lahat na nagmamahal sa Kanya ng tapat. Hallelujah! Tumap- tumayo po tayo at tayo po'y manalangin, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. Let us pray. Heavenly Father Yahweh, Father Yahweh, we come before your presence in humility and gratitude. We thank you, Father Yahweh, for the opportunity to hear your word May these words be planted in our hearts and in our minds. Father Yahweh, we thank you for the gift of the Sabbath and the opportunity to gather in your name. Father Yahweh, help us cultivate the habit of attending the Sabbath services with reverence, with joy, so that we may draw closer to you and find strength in our fellowship. Father Yahweh, please continue to guide us in our journey of faith Inspire us to reflect your love and grace in all that we do. May the habit of attending Sabbath services become a source of spiritual nourishment and renewal in our lives. Father Yahweh, please provide us the wisdom to prioritize our spiritual well-being and the well-being of our fellow brethren so that we may honor you in all aspects of our lives. We pray for your guidance and blessings as we seek to deepen our relationship with you and with one another. Once again, Father Yahweh, we thank you and we bring back all the glory and praise to your wonderful and powerful name. And we ask all of these things through your Son's name, our Savior, Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Taas po natin ang ating kamay, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. Let us receive Yahweh's blessings. Yevareka ka, Yahweh, vishmereka. Yair, Yahweh, panabileka, vikunika. Yesa, Yahweh, panabileka, vsm, leka, shalom. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. May Yahweh make shine His face on you and be gracious to you. May Yahweh lift up His face unto you and give you peace. May Almighty Father Yahweh bless us all. Hallelujah.